Hey y'all. Hey. Welcome to Fruition Farm. Today we're going to be milking. We'll introduce, officially introduce all of our new jerseys. We'll show y'all cookie again. We're going to milk all four cows. We'll give you a total on how much milk we get. Catch up and catch up on Cookie's calf. I can't talk. But yes. <laughs> on Zara. Zara, and let's see how she's doing. And yeah, just kind of a quick little go cow through the milking, milking this morning. Chores this yeah. morning. We might even show how the milk machine works. Yeah, I think we had a back. comment that somebody wanted to see how we how actually did the machine milking. So we'll go through that with you too this morning. <laughs> Food, cookie. There you go. So this is Cookie. She's our jersey that we've had since the fall of 2019, so almost three years now. And she is um, A2A2. And she just had her fourth calf, third calf for us. Her first three calves are all bull calves. And we were really hoping for a heifer, and if you watched our other video, she did. She had a heifer calf, and she was really big. And we had Polar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, but she did really well. They're, they both did really well after birth. Um, no residual side effects or anything happened. Um, you know, she passed everything, and both of them are very healthy. So the calf is nine or ten days old now and we went ahead and finally pulled her we like to leave the calves on for about a week so they get lots of posture so we pulled the calf and now we're milking cookie twice a day and bottle feeding the calf okay so, uh, yep. and you can hear the calf we'll show her to you in a minute um but yeah we're gonna get ready and hook her up to the milk machine so let's check that out here we go all right y'all this is the claw for the milk machine sorry for all the background noise we got a calf bawling you're gonna hear the machine come on here in a minute the vacuum pump running it's almost as if we're in a barn it, it is it smells like it too but um no this is now a lot of people will just do this one at a time but we figured out like by themselves i should say but i like to help kylie do it so she usually puts on the the cups on the right side of the cow and i do the ones over there here on the left and uh we'll put them on the teat then once you hear the machine start clicking, usually we can let it go and it holds itself on and you just see the milk pumping out through the, the bottom of the claw here. All right, you ready, Kylie? So that's the vacuum pump turning on and Kylie has already cleaned the teats with a soapy wet rag. So I can hear the machine starting to pull more vacuum. I see milk starting to flow. Here in a second, you'll hear the, the, the clicker. And there it is. So now the machine is running. Now the machine is running and pumping the milk right out of the cow. I don't know if y'all can see this down here. The milk just rolling right out. Right, this is Sadie, and she is still learning the routine a little bit. Like she knows where the stanchion is, but her food wasn't there yet, so she decided, wait, don't want to go in there with no food. But uh, once she goes in, or once the food gets dumped, she goes straight in. But uh, so what we're feeding now. We're getting a Tucker Milling Soy Free Non-GMO All Stock, which is their what they recommend pellet. for their dairy pellet. We're also feeding Alpha Hay, which I'll show you here. This is a little bit of it. It is alfalfa that's been cut and chopped and fermented with apple cider vinegar and molasses. It's really good for their for their rumen. Uh, they they, they can absorb like it. the nutrients from yes. a lot better. I've never fed it to a cow that loves it at first. They usually snub their nose at it for the first feeding. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, they just start gobbling it up. They love it. So uh, same thing with these girls. We also have a natural herbal, herbal wormer 
that we're doing on these new girls for a week. They get one more day of that. No, actually today's the last day. Today's day seven of the herbal warmer. And then we do a half cup of kelp, thorvin kelp, just as an extra mineral for them. So uh, they are already looking better. And uh, the other two that needed a little weight, they're getting a little bit extra. We're giving them a soaked barley supplement as well. So this is Sadie. We're gonna milk her. She's four yep. years old. She's the heaviest producer so far and she is pretty much with the routine and is very, very good. Okay, this is Mabel. She's, I mean, I'm not saying I'm picking favorites, but if I had to pick a favorite, she'd be the one I'd pick, except for Cookie. But of the new cows, Mabel. Yeah, she's very sweet. She loves to be petted. I actually gave her a bath the other day where she'd been laying in the poopy mud at the dairy farm. And then uh, they've created their own poopy mud spot out here that they're like laying in now. But uh, she's the thinnest, but she's getting looking better already. Um, so we're giving her soaked barley is that she gets everything the other cows get except in addition to that she's getting soaked barley just for some extra protein to her help her some weight back on Dahlia, her. Her and Dahlia, the other cow, get the soaked barley. Yep, yep. they're both getting the same but ration. She's two years old and this is her first lactation so she was a first time freshener um, and she's doing amazing because a lot of times it takes a good bit of training and work to get a first time cow, you know, to obey and do what you want them to do and she's right. doing great so yeah. I am very impressed with her. All right, All right let's, let's milk this milk. one, Kylie. All right, last but not least of the new cows is Dahlia. And she is doing really well. She was the most timid of the three. She was not skittish really and not um, not aggressive at all. She just was very timid and uncertain. Very cautious. And cautious. So it took a lot of coaxing to get her to go where we wanted her to go, but now she seems to have the routine down. So I said when we got them, you know, give us about a week and they'll all probably know the routine and we're right at seven days I think, yep. today and yeah. Things are going routine, so quite smooth. Yeah. It is. It's going way better than uh She's also two years old, so yeah. it's her first freshening. Yeah, so she's so. a heifer as well. Or she was a heifer first time. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. They're doing good and we're gonna get her milk and yeah. Here we go. So Kylie, there's a pedal right there that she pushed to turn the machine off and now. She's gonna vent the claw and that's gonna release the vacuum pressure. That way we're not just ripping it off of the cow's teats. How does it vent? That full vacuum. There's valve. a little valve on the bottom that she opens up. She just pulls it. Okay. Oh, there it goes. And there's that. It came right off. There's the little wrinkly empty teats. <laughs> now we get to go dump this milk and see how much she gave. Yep. yep. All right, here's little Miss Zara. Super cute. She's got the hang of getting a bottle, so when you come over here, she thinks she needs to eat you. <laughs> But she is doing so good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, she's cute, cute. But yeah, she is doing really good. And she's licking my arm and it kind of feels like sandpaper. All right, guys, uh, we're interrupting this program to yes. let you know that we forgot to tell you how much milk. We were editing and realized, oh, we didn't do this. So we're here to tell you and put this somewhere in this video. So you'll see more of the video after we tell you this. So anyway. Um, we got eight and a, over eight and a quarter, close to eight and a half gallons from four cows. Yep. Very good. It's a lot of milk. That's a lot. So that puts us at 17-ish gallons a day. Yes. That's a lot of milk. But. It's a very a lot of milk. We're excited about it. Separating cream, making butter, making cheese, making yogurt. Yeah. Sharing the abundance. Very excited. So there you go. That's your totals. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we wanted to update you on our new pup, Maggie. Is she not super cute? She's super cute. Um, she is doing great. She fits in perfectly. She is not wild and crazy. She's very chill and relaxed and she hangs out with Gabe and follows him everywhere. Doesn't even try to chase chickens and like, I'm very impressed with her. I'm very glad yes. because 
I don't need a wild puppy to try to trade. Mm -mm. I thought I we were. I thought we were adding more work. She's done more work. She's yeah. been really fun, and I think that she's going to be a great farm dog. So I'm really, uh, we're really, really excited about her. Really glad that we got her. We thought that you guys would probably want to know how she was doing since we just got her the other day, and she's doing great. And Gabe loves her. I mean, he's just. She follows him around and he follows her around and they make a great little team. So I think that she's going to be a perfect farm dog for us. And I guess that's about it. We just want to show you our milking routine. We do that twice a day, morning and evening. It takes us about an hour and a half, about an hour and a half start to finish to do everything. So um, that's not too bad and it might speed up as we, you know, continue to work kinks out and yeah. just everybody gets used to the routine, but it's going really well so far. And we appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video. If you give us a thumbs up, YouTube will not know that you like what you're seeing. Please comment below, let us know what you think, and we will catch you guys on the next one. See y'all later.